What is up guys? So I just got the van from the shop yesterday. So um, this is my first full day that I'm gonna be spending in the van and I'm super excited. Um, the woman who gifted me this van, Carrie, uh, she was kind enough to let me spend the night at her house last night. Um, she invited over her niece who's my age and we all played card games um, and just like ate pizza and drank wine. It was a great time. I woke up super early this morning uh, to hit the road. Right now, I am right outside of Chicago. I don't think I'm gonna stop in Chicago, even though I've never been and I would love to really explore Chicago, but I'm still currently driving a daycare van and there's no kids in it and the paint's all scratchy. So it looks, I feel kind of creepy driving around. <laughs> um, so I think we're just gonna drive straight through Chicago um, and maybe end up in uh, Indianapolis somewhere, Indiana, Indiana, somewhere in Indiana tonight. That's where we'll stay. Um, I might stop in Chicago and like see if there's like a place where I can get like a slice of Chicago style pizza because I don't need a whole thing. Um, but I've never had like Chicago style pizza from Chicago, so we might do that today for lunch. It's getting close to lunchtime, but um. Yeah, uh, so tonight's gonna be my first night sleeping in this, I was about to say in the Astro, <laughs> but in the Ford, which is crazy to say because out of all the cars I've ever owned in my entire life, I had a Chevy Lumina, I had a Chevy uh, Express, I had a Chevy Cruze, and then I had the Chevy Astro. So I've only ever had Chevy vehicles my entire life. So I'm in a Ford now, which feels super weird to say. But um, yeah, it'll be our first night sleeping in the Ford van tonight. So I need to, before we do anything, I need to stop by Walmart and get some stuff to make uh, window covers and probably a sleeping bag, maybe a couple other things to be comfortable tonight. So um, yeah, let's hit the road. Okay, so I just walked out of Walmart and usually I have to like look around for the Astro van, but you can just see the Ford. It's so tall, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Right when I walked out of the store, I can instantly see it. Wow. There is a little hornet's nest in this van. I just now saw that. That's kind of terrifying. I think it's uh, empty, but still, that's that is terrifying. <laughs> avoid tolls and I drove through two different tolls so um yeah this actually might be good right here Oh, 
All right, we found parking literally right next to the pizza place that we're going to. So yeah, let's uh, hop inside, get a slice. Okay, that was really quick. I don't know why I thought this would be a whole ordeal. I thought I was gonna have to like find crazy parking, pay for parking, and then like walk like half a mile to get here, but I parked right next to it. So that's pretty sick. I got two slices of deep dish pizza. Wow. I figured I might as well get enough for lunch and dinner uh, since I have like a seven hour drive ahead of me. So I got a spinach deep dish right there. And I also got a, wow, <laughs> a pepperoni deep dish as well. These were, I think they were like uh, six bucks each, maybe like five something each. I should have got like a fork or something to eat this. <laughs> this smells so good though. I'm super stoked to try this. I hope I can pick it up. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wow. Guys, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that looks incredible. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, cheers to my first Chicago-style pizza from Chicago in Chicago in my new van. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Mmm. That sauce is really flavorful. I'm not gonna lie, it's not as melty as I would hope it would have been. Uh, definitely not as melty. Pretty good though. Definitely pretty good for um, a, a by the slice spot because obviously it's not like made to order. Next time we come through here with the van built out in a full kitchen, we're gonna stop by the best Chicago place get a deep dish and then we're gonna make our own and see how they stack up because i was not gonna lie disappointed that there was no cheese pool definitely but let's try the uh other one real quick see if there's a cheese pool there i was hoping for like a really nice cheese pool because these things are filled with cheese so it's kind of like a travesty <laughs> let's see if we can get a cheese pool <laughs> Mm. I like the spinach one more. I would give the pepperoni, honestly, a six out of 10, but the spinach, I think I would give that like a 7.2 out of 10. Like that spinach goes hard. That's really, really good. But when we come back here, we're gonna aim for like a nine. So yeah, next time we hit Chicago, we're gonna do deep dish pizza and I might even try to do some Chicago dogs because I was on the fence if I should stop for a slice of pizza or do a Chicago dog because I love Chicago style dogs. Um, so we'll probably do both of those next time we come through here after the van's built. But we're about to head out of Chicago and drive, I think seven hours we still have to drive till we get to uh, some small town in Indiana. And we're gonna try to find somewhere to park there. So yeah, let's uh, hit the road. Chicago pizza, pretty good.
world's most impossible to get to Cracker Barrel, dude. Is that a body of water right there? Bro, what is happening? <laughs> Here is this Cracker Barrel, dude. This is kind of insane. That is a body of water. There's a literal body of water right there. But I don't know how to get there. And this is very frustrating. But there's a lake, which is sick. We're definitely gonna check that out in the morning. One eternity later. Okay, that was stressful. That was very stressful. I like to just drive around one full time just to make sure like I get the best place to park. It's a pretty big parking area too, which is nice. Okay, there's some other van lifers right here. That's a lake right there. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna pay, we're gonna back up, park into this lake, and get like an amazing view in the morning. I'm so excited about that. Guys, look at this. It's a literal lake, like right outside of the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> tomorrow morning maybe we'll get our breakfast and like eat it with like a lake view <laughs> a lakefront view that's so cool dude the police sirens kind of throw it off a little bit but it's still gorgeous um yeah so i can't dilly dally too much we got to make some window covers so uh yeah let's uh get started okay <laughs> I mean, they're not perfect. They're not perfect at all. I'm gonna clean them up a little bit later. But um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, got the job done. <laughs> so yeah, later I will definitely um, clean them up, add some cloth to them probably, like black cloth, so that it doesn't just reflect. So it's like more stealth, but uh, yeah. It's hot in here. So I'm gonna turn the AC on for a bit. And then we're gonna start to relax. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so last night was definitely not the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever had living in a van, but uh, nevertheless, we made it through. <laughs> so I know I haven't been the biggest Cracker Barrel fan in the past. I know I've expressed that I'm not a huge fan of their food, but eating breakfast with this kind of view in the background is kind of hard to pass up. So I think I'm gonna go in there, patronize that place, give them some money, get some breakfast and eat it with a beautiful lakefront view. So um, yeah, let's go get some breakfast.
crazy. <laughs> I got some blueberry pancakes and then I got a pretty honestly uh, kind of sad looking sausage and cheesy eggs. But hey, I'm not complaining. It's all about the view. It's all about the full experience. I also got an orange juice. Right, let's try the eggs out. The food's okay, but the full experience, 10 out of 10. Waking up after spending my first night in this new van to a lakefront view and then just walking inches away to use the bathroom and get breakfast, you really can't beat that. <laughs> so all together, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Perfect experience. I would definitely come back to Evansville, Indiana just to stay here at this Cracker Barrel again and wake up to this view. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure if the camera does it justice, but this is, well, this is how you start a morning. This is how you start a morning. <laughs>